Welcome to Mathematics class with Flash Isaac. In my last video, I explained percentage error. Today, I'll be taking you through significant figures. When you solve problems in mathematics, sometimes you get values you don't even need. For example, if you say 2 over 3 or 2 divided by 3, you get values like, let's say 0 0.6666667. In fact, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So you get these values. Most times, we do not need all these values. We need to break values down to the significant figures we want, to decimal places we want, so that things can move smoothly. Therefore, we introduce significant figures. Significant figures are ways we deal with values or digits to bring them down to what we actually desire. For example, I can bring down these numbers to simply 0 0.6. 6, 7, and it will be correct. I can also bring it down to 0 0.667, and it will be correct. I can also bring it down to 0 0.7, and it will be correct. Now, give me this number. I can bring it down to, and it will be correct. I can bring it down to, and it should be correct. Now, whether it's correct or wrong, it depends on the significant figures we want. So if I give you a question, and I say, solve it to one significant figure, or solve this question to two significant figures, or give me this answer, give me the answer in three significant figures. So that will determine how you break this down. Now, in significant figures, we have your first significant figure, second significant figure, third significant figure, and so on, depending on the values you are giving. Now, what is the first significant figure? What is the second significant figure? And what is the third significant figure? What is the fourth significant figure in mathematics? You now think, when you are given any number, the first digit that is not zero is your first significant figure. Okay, given this number, is beginning with 0 0.6666. So the first number that is not zero, this is six, this is the first, first significant figure. figure. Now, having understood the first significant figure, you will think that the second significant figure is the second number that is not equal zero, and the third significant figure is the third number that is not equal zero. It's wrong. While the first significant figure is the first number that is not equal zero, for example, okay, this first number is not zero, so this is the first significant figure here. The second significant figure is the second is the number or the digit next to the first significant figure so any digit close to the first significant figure is the second significant figure any number sorry any digit next to the second significant figure is the third significant figure whether zero or not so if i change this to zero this to zero this is the first significant figure we ignore this zero so, and if I change this to zero, the first significant figure is this six, not all this zero. So, leaving this number this way, the first significant figure is this number that is not equal to zero. The second significant figure is zero. Second. The third significant figure is six. The fourth is zero. So, after the first significant figure, the other figures are 
any other number. So next to first is second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, and so on. So these are your significant figures. If I give you something like this, 0.666. Okay, look at this first. This is the first significant figure. This is the second. And this is what? Third. Now, if I give you a question, something like this, and I say, give me this answer or give me this value in two significant figures. Fine. This is supposed to be your, uh, this is the second significant figure. That was two. So it's supposed to be 0 0.60. But that is not the case. Because, fine, this is the second significant figure. figure. The number after the second significant figure is six, is greater than four. So when you see a number that is, when the next number is five and above, you approximate. You should know approximation by now. So this two second significant figure, this thing will end here. But because the next is six, we simply add one to this. This becomes one. So this is this value to two significant figure. Now, if I give you this number, given this, if I ask you to solve this to two significant figures, it is simply zero point, this is the first, and the next one is six. So this is zero point six six to two significant figure. The next following number is one. So it's not enough for us to approximate. It must be five or above for us to add one to this six. So if you are putting this one to two significant figure, is still 0 0.66. This one to two significant figures is still 0 0.66. This value to two significant figure is still 0 0.66. This value to two significant figure is now up to five. So it's no longer 0 0.66. If you are solving this to two significant figure, it will now become 0 0.6. This other says you add one to it since the next number is five, it will be 0 0.67 to two significant figure. If this were to be six, we still add one to this one to make it two significant figure because it's more than four. It, it will still be the same answer. If it were this, the, yeah, this will still be 0 0.67 to two significant figure. So you approximate that is just the main stuff. But if you are given this number and you are asked to solve two, okay, let's look at this. This to two significant figure is simply five, six. You make this other one zero. That's all. If you are solving this to one significant figure, this is five. The next is greater than four. So you add one to this. This will be six, zero, zero. Hope you understand. Now look at one thing. If you notice, while solving this one, after looking for the significant figure, we left zero. But in this case, in this case, we said it's just 0 0.66 and we didn't put zero again. Do you know why? Any zero, okay, let's say something like this now. 0 0.610000. So it's already after the decimal places. So all those other zero, they don't carry weight. But if you have something like this, 210.654, and get to one significant figure, let's say 2, you can't just leave these ones and say 0.654, because these ones, they have their own weight. So in that case, to one significant figure, we already have it. These other values that we don't need, we change them to 0, even if it were to be 4 here. Is that cool? Fine. So let's solve problems. To drive home my points. All right. Okay. Now look at this question very well. We are taught to round the following to one, two, and three significant figures. 
So we are using one stone to kill three bells. We we'll round it to one significant figure. We we'll round it to two significant figures, and we we'll round it to three significant figures. Now they are actually very easy, and I think we'll be very fast with it. So look at this first one. If we are solving this to one significant figure, let me do it this way. Okay. Solution to one, which is the first significant figure, second, two significant figure, third, three significant figure. And that is the same way you do it when it's four, five, six, and so on. It's the same principle. Okay? And most times you're usually asked to round figures to first or second or third significant figure. People don't hardly ask for other figures because it's already much. And most times the questions are uh, the answers or the figures are usually not even up to four or five figures for you to not be looking for those values. Good. Now look at the first one. It says five three two zero 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 first significant figure. First significant figure means we simply need only the first number that is not zero. Then we don't need others. So in that case, five is the first significant figure. Then three is not up to five. So we can't approximate. What is the next number? In that case, we change it to zero. Zero, zero, one, two, three. So that is that to one significant figure. Then to two significant figure, the number after the first significant figure is two. So this is the second significant figure. So that means we need from here back, we don't need these. So in that case, and since there's no decimal places, we have to add zeros. They are relevant. We now have five, three, zero, 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 zero. Good. And for example, what comes, when it comes to approximation, I say, ah, I bought this car, 1.98 million. So if I want to run that to one significant figure, I can just say, okay, I bought this car 2M. So it makes more sense rather than putting a lot of stuff and values, at least round off to 2M or around 2M. So that's just the real life application of these stops. So to three significant figure is 5, 3, 2, 0, 0, 0. So it's already in three significant figure. So in, th in this case, it's not even necessary. It's already in three significant figure. Okay, so B first is five, one, two, one, two, three. The same thing. To second, to two significant figure is five, three, zero, zero, zero. Is in three significant figures. So five, three, four, zero, zero. So that's that. All right, look at C. To one significant figure is simply five. Zero, 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 zero. So two significant figure is five. Now this is the second significant figure. The number close to the second significant figure is more than five. So we approximate. That means we increase this one by one to make it four. So this will become five, four, zero, zero, zero. So it's complete. So this is already in three significant figure. So you see, you just still have five. Three eight zero zero. Okay, this D is the same. It's the same with this. First is to one is five zero 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 zero. To this second significant figure is five four zero zero zero. Then to three significant figure, the third significant figure is eight. But this other guy. It's not up to 5 for us to approximate 8 to 9. If it were 5, we'll approximate it to 9. So to make sure this answer is different from the previous one, let's make here 9 or 5. So in that case, the first significant figure is correct. The second is correct. Then the third significant figure will not be this is this. The next one is more than 5 or is 5 and above. Therefore, pick one and put here. So this becomes 9. So in that case, the third significant figure will be 
5300. So for this, the first significant figure is this 5. So this is simply 0 0.005. Every other thing to 0. 0, 0, 0. But most times we don't need these zeros after decimal places. So this is simply 0 0.005. And the second significant figure is the second digit after the first significant uh, figure. Therefore, the second significant figure here is, is zero. But the number close to it is more than four. So therefore, we increase zero by one, which is one. In that case, this is 0 0.0051. Then the third significant figure is seven. So we stop here and discard the one. 0.00507. It's simple, right? Good. F. Okay, this is decimal. So if you are doing one significant figure here, it's just to say 7 or 7.0. Every other thing goes. No, 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 no. This is more than 4. There is 5 here. So we approximate this one, add one to this one. This will give you. It. The second significant figure, this will give you 7.5 because 5 is a digit after the first significant figure. So that is the second significant figure. So every other thing here is supposed to be 0, but since it's after decimal place, we don't really need all those things. Then this one will be 7.54. If you have any questions, just use the comment box and please don't fail to subscribe to get more videos like this and even more and other subjects too. G is four zero. That's all. You can say point zero if you like. You can remove it. So two significant figure will be four six, four six point zero, and so to three significant figure. Mm hmm. This now, if you add one to this, is ten. So that means you are bringing it back here. So this becomes 6. So 4, 6, 0. So this second significant figure is 28, so 280, this one remains 281. So that is it. So it's that simple. If you think there is an error or something you observe, please also let me know. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to this channel for more amazing videos.